Hey guys, it's Brandon. By the way, that audio guy today, I'm going to show you how to get your song out of Studio One. So Studio One calls it a mix down, and there are a couple of ways to tell it what you want to bounce out. So the first is you can set your loop. So if you just drag up here, then it will create this blue bar and that will say, okay, in this region, I want you to bounce out if you set it to bounce out in your loop region. And then you can also, if you click on this flag here, set markers. So let's say right here is our verse. So we're going to name that verse. Here is our pre-chorus. Here is the chorus and then our end. So now we can tell it if we want to bounce out in between these markers. This is really helpful if you just want to bounce out the chorus and send to a client or something, then you can say, okay, from chorus to verse two, that's the only part I want the client to hear for right now. So how do you actually do it? Well, you head up here, song. So you can do export mix down or export stems. Export stems will be handy if you're sending it to someone else with a different DAW or you just want to send them the stems. But to get your song out of your project, you do export mix down or command E. So obviously up here you can set the location, okay? File name, so let's call it Epic Song. You can choose to put it on SoundCloud if you've linked your SoundCloud account. And then of course right here you can change the format change the resolution. And then here is where we do our export range. So between loop, remember, will give us between this blue bar, everything in between here, so from one to seven, between song start and end marker. So this was a marker we set when we first started our project and Studio One said, okay, how long do you want your project to be? And we put five minutes. So that's where it's getting that start and end marker. So it will go from the very beginning to the end of your project, all right? You can move that if you want to drag that over in your project. And then you can do between each marker. And then you can even do between selected marker, like I was saying. So if we just want the client to hear chorus to verse two, then we could just bounce out that section. And that would be all that they're going to get. And you don't have to go in and trim that individually or select it with your loop. Really convenient. And then of course you can have all these options. So do you want to bypass the master effects real time, which is bouncing in real time. And that basically means it will play it as it exports. Whereas offline is going to just do it in kind of double or triple speed rather than just playing through the thing. It's a lot faster. Some people say that real time processing has a lot better audio quality, but I've done some tests and I personally can't hear a difference. So I usually just leave that unchecked. You can close it after you export it, import, right tempo into the file, all that jazz. So you just hit OK and then it goes and now it's done. So now if we head here to our file, it says, all right, this is the epic song from the chorus because that's telling us, all right, that bounced from the chorus to verse two. Now we have this two second clip. So epic. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and sign up for the email list where you will get exclusive content that we only send to the people on that list. And also head over to itsthataudioguide.com and I will see you guys soon.